Midwestern woman. If you did not grow up in the Midwest, you are about to embark on a wondrous adventure with regular old women folk of the Midwest. We are going to talk about so many topics and nothing is off the table. The reason I wanted to do this podcast is because I needed a creative outlet and I wanted to have a candid dialogue with friends and colleagues about how we really feel being a product of the Midwest. I'm Jessica. I have lived in the Midwest off and on my whole life. My family still lives here and I have a husband and our son. For 20 years, I've acted in television, commercials, and film, and I've ran two film festivals. My husband and I have made several films together. When I turned 38, I decided I wanted to have a baby. So we did, last year. And then the pandemic hit. So we left Chicago to move closer to family in Indiana. Everything stopped, and for a whole year, I've been a stay-at-home mom. I've always worked. I've always done something. Even though I'm busy with my son, it's challenged me on so many levels in terms of my self-identity. I started thinking a lot about who I am as a woman. Then I started talking to friends about it. And then I came up with this idea for this podcast. I think my identity has been both defined by environment and an internal compass. What happens when your compass contradicts the very values that were dictated to you by society? It's very tricky. I've also lived in Los Angeles. Living in Los Angeles made me realize the stark differences between how women show up for themselves depending on where they have been raised. Then there are women who were raised in one place but have lived almost the same amount of time in a different region. They are regional hybrids trying to figure out what they are going to adopt from each region. Growing up, I resented being from the Midwest. And then when I finally moved away, I realized I was thankful for my Midwest values. But there's always been something difficult for me. I never felt like I quite fit in to the Midwest culture. I've met a lot of wonderful women over the course of my life who live or have lived in the Midwest most of their lives. I've learned that there's many ways to be a Midwestern woman. I'm going to try to go deep and dive into what makes being a Midwest woman so hard, yet rewarding. We are going to cover topics such as sex, religion, and spirituality, relationships, education, gender identity, mansplaining, manners, and self-care, and so much more. And I'm sure it will go off on so many other topics that I couldn't have even imagined. Like a good Midwestern meal, you can expect me to get to the meat and potatoes of these topics. Also, I'm trained in comedy improvisation at the Second City. So you can also expect some fun banter and laughs as well, for sure. This won't be all serious. Because after all, in Midwest style, you have to have dessert after dinner. <laughs> 